<coughs> Good evening. Good evening, everyone. This is Yusuf Chowdhury. Tuning in live from San Antonio, Texas. It is 8.59 p.m. Central Time. Okay, uh, just give me a minute here as usual. I'm just going to share this on my page. Then we'll start with the topic. This is a, a topic based on a question one of the attendees asked me yesterday in my live streaming. And the question was, how can local businesses use live streaming for their business? Okay. So that is the question. Since live streaming is something I personally recommend and so many other experts <clears throat> recommend live streaming, uh, you will find tons of articles and resources on how to start with the live streaming, but you won't find, I shouldn't say you won't find, but you won't find enough resources on how each uh, local businesses, the brick and mortar businesses, how would they run the live streaming to build their brand or their business or to create a brand awareness to get more targeted audience because it is also part of the social media, right? So live streaming is also part of the social media strategies. <clears throat> now, before talking about some of the tips and ways to do live streaming, let's focus on the local businesses. So if you are a brick and mortar business, what kind of topics you can use within the live streaming uh, strategy, right? So for example, some of the topics that I would recommend, for instance, like, you know, behind the scene, if you are a local business that involves with, I don't know, warehouse, a uh, business that involves with some type of products, how the products are, products are organized on the shelves of your store, for example, what are the ways to organize it, you know, behind the scenes. You can live stream about your live events if you are a service provider in the accounting business or a government type of business, financial services, uh, law firm, marketing, and you do workshop or <clears throat> training, you can live stream those so your audience can see exactly what you're doing locally, right? You can also host like, you know, interviews. I mean, let's take the example of, of law firm or chiropractor or surgeons or dentists that they can do an interview with successful uh, you know clients or customers or happy customers for example if you have a product or product doesn't have to be just something tangible it can be something like if you're in a bakery business how would you do a live streaming showing on how to make awesome cool cakes for example right if you can also provide educational material if you have, if you are if you are in the real estate you can talk about the do's and don'ts which is an educational or how do you conduct a training? Uh, you can also host a Q&A session with your audience. So again, taking the example of surgeons, doctors, chiropractors, attorneys, even plumbers, you can have a Q&A session with the audience. So, so these are some of the ideas that you can use. Okay, you can use these ideas as a theme for your live streaming. Now, when it comes to live streaming, I'm going to talk about that in a few minutes on how to do the live streaming. But for now, you need to come up with what will be the best option for you. And let me show you some of the example that, for example, here in San Antonio, some of the businesses that are doing live streaming locally and they're very successful. Let me share with you. Uh, let me share the screen. I'm going to share, if I can pull up right here, one second. Some of the folks that are doing it right. Let's say uh, Hilco Homes. This is a company on real estate investment, on buying units and properties. Uh, this is run by Marco and his lovely wife. 
Okay, they've been live streaming, I think, for quite some time. And with his live streaming now, he built a team. Okay, he built an amazing team and his company is growing like crazy. Okay, so if you watch, this is their Facebook business page. If you look at some of their live streaming channels, you will see that they focus heavily on education, on training. See right here. So they're doing it the, the right way. So you can look at, this is considered a local business. They are into the real, real estate niche. And you can see, let me see if there's more videos right here. Let's just go straight to the videos. And I'm basically so proud of his accomplishment and consistency. You can watch all his live streaming videos. I mean, right now, of course, he has a team that also do live stream with him. But if you go back to the way, way back in the old days, way back in the history, you can see how he started and what he was doing. I mean, look at the views right here. Three months ago, 1,000 views right here, 400 views right here, 30 comments, 300 views. Not, not bad. I mean, a lot of views, a lot of engagements taking place because they're heavily focused on educating, right? Ask wholesale. We'll be going live in 144, for example. See that? <clears throat> look at the, if you want to see if this is working, you can look at their videos and also look at the engagement level. They're doing very good. So, that's the one example of how a, a local business took the live streaming to build their business, to build their brand, to educate their target audience. So, Hilka Holmes, uh, Mark, and Hillary, they're amazing. And look at uh, the team that they built. And this didn't come in one night. I mean, they've been doing this for quite some time. Okay. So you can basically go and watch all their live streaming videos to get an idea how they're doing it. So this is just in the real estate niche, okay? Another business, another local business, this shows you that they love for what they do. I mean, they love what they do, and that's how, why things come out naturally, <laughs> right? So here's another example. This is a local business that sells, you know, uh, excuse me, brand new, a lot of home appliances and clothes for super, super cheap. You see, all this, all, all they do just talks about sales, <laughs> right? You would think like, why would you promote that much? I mean, look at this live streaming here. Come today. This was like a few days ago, like on February 22nd. Come today and save money on furniture. This has been done live. See that? 1,700 views, four shares, three comments, a lot of viewership. And there's more. If you keep going down, let me look at some of their... And this, their view is actually a little bit funny because these are young uh, brothers that I know. They're very uh, hardworking and they always have fun at work. That's the most important thing. They always have fun at work. You can see all the live streaming. You can see, look, 4,000 views on this one. 15,000 views on this live streaming. Okay, 45,000. Look at that. And these are all done on live streaming, local businesses. Utilizing live streaming to get more traction, to get more visibility, to get more customers. Look, 38,000 views, 2,000, 2,000. I mean, it's working. They're doing great. And if you watch the video, they're hilarious. Kind of funny, cringy, and cheesy, but it's really, really funny. And they're amazing. Okay? So this is another example. If you want to see how successfully local businesses are using live streaming to build that authenticity, that brand, with the target audience. I think this was the funniest one. <laughs> I, I advise him to try TikTok and he did a funny video right here. Okay, so that's another example to kind of to let you know that this is very much possible. You can see by looking at their live streaming videos, how many engagement, how many comments, how many share they have. Another one, at least but not least, this is one of my favorite. This is not locally from San Antonio, but this dude uh Cherico pottery this guy's amazing too if you watch his videos it is so therapeutic <laughs> i mean <coughs> believe it or not i mean a few days ago uh most of his posts are just a regular post but there are a few of them that is uh live streaming i mean all he does just show you how to do uh, clay uh, pottery on a traditional uh wheel and look at this one here just few uh, february 14th he has his website where he sells the, 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 the cups that he made. Look, 300,000 views. 
and 400, more than 400 shares and 2,000 comments, almost 2,000 comments. And all he does, and this video run for two hours, guys. <laughs> Why would somebody watch for two hours or maybe a few minutes and coming back and forth a video of somebody just making a cup? See that? And talk a little bit. I mean, this guy's amazing. So check out, uh, uh, what is it, Cherico Pottery. So the idea, I'm trying to give you a great Guzman sweet video, Sheikh Yusuf. <laughs> Sheikh Yusuf. Mr. Gregel Guzman. So this is an idea to tell you that live streaming is, I mean, I can come with, a, I can show you all the statistics. You can go online, Google the statistic of using live stream 2020, and you will find tons of data out there, tons of resources from social media examiner, people uh, that are very well respected in the industry, <clears throat> tells you how live streaming is powerful how, and how you can use it for your business. So Ali asked me about how can local businesses utilize it. So these are some of the examples. If you love what you do, and if you have a little bit of idea on what kind of content you want to put out there, then it's going to work. I think, I believe Steven, who is the, uh, he has a PC repair shop, and he's one of the people that, you know, attend my live streaming in the local workshop. He's actually working on setting up a studio for his PC repair shop so he can show some of the cool stuff when it comes to how to repair PCs and computers. So that's going to be an amazing project that he's going to work on, and I'll be so happy to kind of help him and to see how that type of project using live streaming can take his business to the next level. Okay, so what do you all think? I mean, these are, I mean, I can provide tons of other proof for you all to check it out, but what do you all think about this? What do you all think? Do you see how powerful, and these folks, I mean, of course, Marco from Hilco Homes, he, he's, a, he's a tech savvy person. He had to learn and, and improve. But the young guys at the Barking Depot, they just open their phone and do fun stuff and crazy thing and on the go. And every time, you know, they're doing great. You can see the comments. You can see how people are going and sharing with their friends and family. Of course, you can do the same thing. But the idea is what? The idea is that you have to know, first of all, I always say this, you have to know who is your audience. You know, who is your audience first and what can you do? What kind of topics? So that so the ideas that I mentioned to you guys, especially if you're a local business, a brick and border or a front store, think about behind the scene type of topic. Think about uh, a host and interview. Think about uh, the product creation or if, if it's restaurants or if it's a bakery or if it's a, even a Brazilian jiu-jitsu. What, what kind of content are you going to put live to educate your audience, Right. I mean, you can even have the Q&A session with your actual customer. So you can go live for a Q&A session and let them know if your audience can come live and ask all this question. Of course, you have to be consistent. None of these folks that started, you know, blew completely to success in one night. <clears throat> if you go back to their old, old videos that goes a year or two, you will see that you know, their viewership were, were kind of very small, but eventually with consistency and, for, uh, and the love of what they do, it grow, right? So you have to look at it from the same perspective. So Ali, to answer your question, these are some of my suggestions when it comes to brick and mortar or local businesses on what type of topic they can use when it comes to live streaming. Now, so how to do live streaming, some of the tips that I'm going to share. The first one, of course, as always, when it comes to social media, you always have to share something so valuable to your ideal customer, whether that could be tips, how-to, tutorial, Q&A session, uh, training, product creation, hosting interviews, behind the scene and whatnot, something very valuable to the audience. Number two, you do have to come with a plan. And the plan is, how would you prepare this, right? I mean, you can use your mobile device to do this. You can use right now your laptop to do this. You have to make a decision whether you want to do it on Facebook or YouTube or Periscope, or if you want to multi-stream it, it's up to you. But my advice is at least start with one, right? <clears throat> so fun is asking. So I'm live streaming on YouTube every Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, and Friday on YouTube. The River Radio Show. Do you suggest to go live on Facebook at the same time? That is an excellent question, Safwan. If you have followers for the same group on Facebook, my suggestion is yes. Especially if you can use, uh, <coughs> excuse me, restream that IO or uh, yardstream.com or caster so there are many like right now i'm streaming on facebook youtube and periscope right if your audience on youtube are engaging and they're doing great that's fine 
but if you do have a Facebook page followers, why not do live streaming there as well? So I would say give it a shot and try it. And for that, you have to use a third-party company services to live stream. Right now, I'm using Ecom with conjunction with the Restream.io. Okay. Uh, would that be monetized as well? I'm not sure about monetization because in YouTube, once you get a lot of followers, a lot of subscribers, if you become part of the YouTube partner program or use other ways to collect income from YouTube, that's one way. But in Facebook, they're not going to pay you to go live, not even on Periscope. And especially if you're doing this for the purpose of Dawa, that shouldn't be... Uh, I mean, of course, you need the financial to keep the Dawa consistent. Dawa means uh, propagation, uh, education, okay? For those folk that doesn't know what Dawa means, okay? So, Facebook might not pay you, but there is a way you can always generate. You have to find out different ways, whether through ads or through training or selling books and whatnot, okay? Even though I'm doing promos for local businesses, so I'm not dependent on monetization. What do you want to, even though, yeah, I mean, hold on one second. I don't understand the last question. What would be, what do you want, it's not monetized. Uh, even though I'm doing promos for local businesses, Yes, so if you promote other businesses for the show, you're still making money, so that's good. All right, so when it comes to number one is what? You always provide value to your audience. Number two, you have to pre pre plan and prepare. Okay, plan and prepare. So typically what I do when I go live, I have a subject, I have a topic, and I have a notes, right? When I used to use the phone, I used to make sure that the Wi-Fi is good, the phone is on mute, and it's fully charged. And I got bullet points on my side to go over it. So that's what I mean by preparing. So right now I'm using the laptop. I make sure the internet's very good. The lights are good. The, 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 the sound is good. And every software is working good, right? Now, before you go live, you can also announce it to your social channels. Like if you want to announce it several hours before or a couple of days before that, hey, I'm going to go live, catch me live on this day, on this time. To do that, you can use canva.com to create, to create those images for your social channels that and and those images will have the title of the event of the live streaming where you, where are you going to live stream whether it's Facebook Insta, uh, Facebook YouTube or Periscope or Facebook alone the time and the date that's it and you put a call to action catch me live or tune in live and that's it and share those on the social channel so you can use canva.com or relay that <clears throat> okay uh, tip number four, write an interesting title. So one of my suggestions is if you can go to answerthepublic.com, find out what kind of question people ask within your niche and use that question as a title for your live streaming. Number five, you, if you want to get more ideas for your theme or, or subject or topic, you can go to Twitter search, you can go to Facebook search, you can go to Quarter search or LinkedIn search and find out what kind of question other people asking and using this question as a way for you to live stream about it. Okay. Um, number six, you can use Basumu, even though Basumu is not free. You can go to Basumu and the ten and the first ten result will show you what type of uh, content are popular within the social media channels based on your niche. And number seven is stay consistent with your broadcast. So like Safwan, he does it. Uh, every Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday. So stay consistent for life. <laughs> okay. If you want to do it three times a week, do it three times a week. If you want to pick a specific time frame, specific time frame. If your subjects are always similar and the same, stick to that subject. Make sense? John, what's going on? What was the number four answer? Yes, answer the public. There is a website called answerthepublic.com. So check it out. Answerthepublic.com. Okay. So number seven is stay consistent with your broadcast. And number eight, use useful hashtag within your niche, especially when you live stream through Periscope, for example, that live streaming is going to be tweeted to your Peris uh, to your Twitter. So if you use a, an effective hashtag, that can bring some exposure to your live streaming link. Hey, Rose, what's going on? Good evening. So that is number eight. And in, 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 okay, <clears throat> excuse me. The weather has got a little bit cold. We got, I don't know how many cases of Corona. How many cases, man, of coronavirus? <laughs> All right. <clears throat> so that's number eight. Use a useful hashtag within your niche. So you can use a website called Write Tag. So that's R-I-T-E, 
tag, not right like the word right or wrong, right, R-I-T-E tag.com. So check out that website. Number nine, once you do your live streaming, make sure you have your link uh, either on the bottom of the Facebook or you can mention it in the beginning or at the end or you can just comment it on your social channels and tell the audience to go to this website and you can use that link as a lead capture so you can capture the name and email addresses by giving them something of high value. Number 10, once you go live like right now, if you all enjoy this live streaming, do me a favor, go ahead and share it, tag this live streaming with some of your cool business friends or invite your colleagues to live streaming, right? So you can ask the audience after five to 10 minutes. If your show is 10 minutes, then do it after five minutes. Don't ask them right away. So that's number 10. Number 11, <clears throat> You can utilize this awesome free tool. It's called If This Then That. So that is IFTTT.com. So go to IFTTT.com, which is a short for If This Then That. It's an awesome tool that can connect to more than 200 social channels. So what you can do with this, you can program it in a sense that when you go live, the IF, if This Then That can basically broadcast your messages about the live streaming to your social channels in real time. You can have a specific image for Facebook, specific image for Twitter and LinkedIn. So when you go live, it automatically will shoot the link with the message so somebody can see it and come to your um, live streaming, okay? Number 12, uh, start right away. What I mean by that, when you go live, don't wait for like 1 million years for other people to show up so you can start about the subject. You can wait for like a less than a minute if you want to share it on other social channels, but don't wait for like, oh, I'm going to wait for 10 minutes for people to show up. Don't do that, okay? Within a few seconds, within less than a minute, start with the topic. You can see how I do it too, right? Uh, number 13, uh, if you, uh, this is part of the subject. Actually, number 13 is, uh, that's it. No, number 13 and 14, we talked about it before, which is, you know, behind the scenes, show your product and services, but that's about it. So you have 12 ways on how to make your live streaming super effective if you come up with an idea whether it's going to be behind the scene, live event, interviews, product creation, conducting a training, or hosting a Q&A session. Okay? So that's it. That's all I wanted to share with you all tonight. Ali, I hope you are here because this was your question and this is how local businesses can utilize live streaming because it does help with increasing engagement. It does help with building that credibility because when people see you on live streaming, it's the same person that can see you in real life. And because everything done live, any question the audience asks you, if you know the answer, you're going to answer it. And if you don't, you're going to tell them no. So there is some authenticity right there. There is some... Uh, trust factor. That's why even if you look at um, the post from the Bargain Depot, the Hilco Home, and uh, Cherico Pottery, you will notice that they have more conversation, more engagement within their live streaming post versus regular posts like images and whatnot. Makes sense? That's why live streaming is so powerful. In fact, I get more engagement, believe it or not, from live streaming. Sometimes I get deals a request to be a public speaker for different events on digital marketing subjects because people can see me that I do live workshop. I also do Q&A session or, sh or share a topic just like how I am, right? Make sense? So that's why I highly recommend that if you can do live streaming. And plus, think about it. If you're going to shoot a regular video, which is something that's good, but, but let's say you don't have the time for it. If you want to shoot a regular video, uh, a five minute video probably will take you like a 30 minutes to an hour to shoot it. Then it will take you another hour to edit it. Then it might take you another hour or two to render the video file because it's so huge and you have to shrink it. Then another 30 minutes to upload it. So for a five minute video, you're going to spend probably five hours. But with live streaming, you can just go right now and that's it. And it's already saved, right? Easy peasy. Okay. So it is 9.23 p.m. Central Time right here in San Antonio, Texas. If you all have any questions about live streaming, what kind of softwares and tools you need to use, let me know. But I've shared what I want to talk about, and that's it. Even like Rose, if she wants to do a live streaming on 
the hairstyle thing, right? That's to be something very cool. People want to see how you do something cool, right? So, yeah. Any questions, folks? Any questions? It is 9.24 p.m. Central Time. <coughs> I'm going to wait for a minute. Then after that, I will bounce. Hopefully, this uh, live streaming was beneficial on the subject. You're welcome. Okay. All right, everybody. Thank you so much for tuning in tonight. I highly appreciate it. Don't forget to leave your questions in the comment section. And if you want me to talk about any subject within digital marketing, send me a DM. And for those who's watching the replay, tap replay on the bottom. And I'll be back with you guys tomorrow, hopefully after 9 p.m., 9 p.m., 10, around that time. Okay? See you all later. Bye-bye for now.